Now, if I wanted to do something like create text that followed along a line of this, I could also kind of go in and do that. I'm just gonna maybe smooth this area out a little bit so that it's, this is a difficult, I want it kind of smoother for the text, but maybe I'll put it here between the, uh, the thumb and the rest of the hand. So if I wanted to do text that followed along this particular path, um, in this case, I would have to do a copy of the path. So um, I'm gonna use the layers palette for this. I'm gonna uh, lock one. So I just have one hand path still available. I'm gonna turn off visibility for that so you can see how this works. And just go in. If I wanted type to fill the hand, I would use the area type tool. Type on a path tool, just click directly on it. This is just way too much type. That's the problem with the placeholder text. Sometimes it's just too much for what you want. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So this shows you what the text would look like if it was following along the kind of thumb there. And notice what happened as well. I mean, it's gone in and it's, whoops, given us type that follows along the, the path. I just want, it's just placeholder text, but I don't want it quite that much. But if I want to go in and have it kind of show up with the original shape of the hand, I can't do that when I'm using that hand shape for the, the path it, it, because it makes it invisible. So I would bring up the, hand, the original hand path and then just make whatever edits I want to it. So here, you see the text that's following the outline of the hand. And to do that, I needed two copies of the hand.